Hi guys, today I'm back with a graphite pencil drawing of a Sphinx cat. Unfortunately, I kind of messed up during the editing process and somehow I got this blurry image now and I don't know how to fix it, but I still wanted to show you what I did here. I'm using Strathmore Bristol Smooth Paper and the size is 11 by 14 inches. I got a lot of questions about the pink tape I'm using. I'm not sure what it's actually called but it's by the brand Tesa and I got it here in Germany from a art supply shop. It's actually made for wallpapers to paint on, but it works perfectly on my paper because it doesn't stick too much. My graphite pencils are from Faber Castell and I'm using an 8B. HP and a 4H pencil for this drawing. The white and blue pencil you can see me using is actually an eraser. It's called Mono Zero and it's by Tombow. I highly recommend this for graphite drawings. I'm actually obsessed with it because you can make all those teeny tiny hair strands with this quite easily. For blending I use a paper tissue and a paper roll. I chose this reference picture because I like to challenge myself. The hardest part was to get all the ringlets on the hat in the right position and it seemed like it took me forever to accomplish this. I like to start my drawings in the upper left corner and work my way through the lower right corner. I do this because I'm right handed and this way I can avoid smudging all the graphite over finished parts of the drawings with my hand. But still you can see me moving back to some parts, they actually seemed like they were finished, but sometimes I just notice things and I go back and try to adjust them. I get a lot of questions about how to draw a realistic portrait. And here are some things I can tell you about this. The first thing is take your time because it takes a lot of it. Also you have to practice and don't forget to study because if you keep doing the same mistakes over and over again 
you won't be able to improve your drawing skills. I know studying anatomy can be quite boring, but I promise you, it will help you to improve. The other thing is actually draw what you see and not what you think you know. You can practice this by choosing only a small part of a reference picture. Then you will see a lot of different abstract shapes that seem to don't make any sense, but try to do draw them anyway as you see them. If you did that a couple of times, it will help you to look more closely to your reference picture and get a more realistic result. My last advice I can give you is don't be afraid of getting too dark. If you look in the finished piece of this drawing you can see that even my highlights are actually a light grey. In order to get the values right in your drawing, you really need to darken your shadows as much as you can. In the reference picture I got, this cat has the most gorgeous blue eyes. I have ever seen, so that's why I chose to make this drawing a little bit more interesting with a pop of color and I used my beloved Prismacolor colored pencils for this. Here comes my favorite moment. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Even though it's a bit too blurry, I will figure it out the next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye!